Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So this is number three of my watercolor unboxing and swatchings. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. I am a, just a little FYI, I am a total novice at watercolor. Um, I know just enough to be dangerous. What I've learned, I have learned from following channels on YouTube that I absolutely adore. I will link those in the description because when I try to think of them and share them with y'all live, um, I get squirrel brain and totally forget. But there's a lot of great ones out there. I follow them religiously. Um, I am not good at watercolor at all. A lot of these are ones that I have picked up because I wanted to start. And um, yeah. So I have uh, my two previous videos. My first were the Jane Davenport Neutrals. These are a extruded half pan set. This here are the Paul Rubens. These are a poured half pan set. And um, for those who are, you know, been doing watercolor for a while, if you don't mind leaving comments in the below as far as the differences in how, you know, how that process works, it does affect how um, they're made and sometimes it affects how they, you know, they move on the paper. Anyway, uh, this particular video is going to be um, the little teeny tiny bit of Daniel Smith watercolors that I have. These are artist grade watercolors. They are the Prima Tech. So they're made from genuine like semi-precious uh, gemstones. And um, I think the only one that's not is the Prussian Green. My most expensive one is this Sleeping Beauty. This tube right here cost me $20. Watercolors can be very expensive, so I'm just putting that out there. Um, these are your five millimeters. These are, they usually, you can fi usually find them either five, seven, 10, 15 milliliters and bigger, but of course the bigger you go, the more expensive they are. The, the, mo the more, the harder it is to get the pigments, the more expensive they are. There are different series. Um, the higher the series number, the more expensive they are. Um, so, I mean, this is just little tidbits that I know. And, um, yeah. So, again, this is my Daniel Smith, my little bit of Daniel Smith that I own. Um, I kind of pick them up in, like, little batches because they are so expensive. Um, we're going to be doing tube. Uh, these are tube watercolors and I've already um, kind of like um, put them out into, this is I believe this is a Jack Richeson um, porcelain watercolor palette. Um, if you're going to use palettes, you either want to go with like a metal palette or you want to go with a porcelain because um, your watercolor mixes differently and you can get you can really see the true color that you're mixing versus trying to do it on plastic it's there's a big difference um so the first set um uh, this is so this first line here comes from this primatech um set i got this on amazon i think i paid 20 like eight dollars for it or maybe a little more i'll include the link in the description to this so these came off Amazon, these came from Dick Blick, and I bought these when I bought um, my other um, bl uh, silver brush black velvet paint brushes. So, and the Mayan blue green is already in this set, and I didn't realize that when I added this to the cart. Um, this little bitty tube here cost eight something. Um, the Prussian green, this one here cost me 10 and then the Prussian blue cost me six. So, so yeah, I mean, $20 just for that one right there. And that's, they get even more expensive than that. So just putting that out there. So, um, in this set, you get Rhodonite Genuine, Jadeite Green, Amethyst Genuine, Mayan Blue Genuine, Hematite, and Pimentite Genuine. So let's take a peek and see how these react. Um, these are from tube where both of these were extruded and poured pan set. And um, 
I have already like tried these out of the tube and my understanding is they actually operate differently once they're from the tube and dried. So we're gonna see what happens. Giving them a little bit of water to pre-activate them. Um, apparently when you put tube paints in a palette and let them dry, they're harder to reactivate. That's my understanding. Again, if you are knowledgeable in watercolor, please help me out in the description. Um, I, again, I only know enough to be dangerous. And so, yeah. All right, so our first one we're gonna do, swatch, and we're gonna do it right here. And this is gonna be Rhodonite Genuine. So let's see. We're gonna go, we'll start here. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll start here. So we're going, we're attempting to go for a mass tone. Um, Prima Techs aren't necessarily known for high color pigmentation. It's, some of them are supposed to have a more, um, what's the, I don't know what the color, um, description I'm trying to come up with here. Um, sparkling qualities, kind of like, you know, like our um, mica. Oh, that's this one. That can't be right. This says it's supposed to be jadeite green, and I don't think that's right. Unless this is the Mayan blue, which I don't think that it is. Because that certainly doesn't look like a green. Hmm. I might have too much water in this. And that's what I was talking about, uh, granulation. Can you see how it's kind of like pooling up in like the little, uh, like I said, this is a cold pressed paper, so it's a rough paper. And that's what I was meaning by uh, granulation in the paint. That is supposed to be, I'm guessing that's the Mayan Blue Genuine. So I guess I went like this on here. So now we're gonna go to, this has to be the, gosh darn, I don't know what that is. That's the Mayan blue. That's a pretty color. Let's see how it moves. I like the way it moves. You get some, if you can tell these Primatex, they're a much more muted um, colors. The next one I'm doing, it's, you know, that must be, no. You know what, I don't know guys. This one is the Amethyst Genuine. So this is supposed to be from Ground Amethyst. Um, I like the way it moves. There's a, not, no, not a lot of granulation to that one. You can tell it's a really staining color. And then this last one is Pimanite Genuine. They're definitely, when you get them straight, from the tube, um, they have they there is more color to it. These colors here, I think this is the Prussian blue. One two, one two three four five six. You know what I missed? I missed the jadeite. I went right past the jadeite. So here's the jadeite. That's a really deep color. Let me move fast so that um, it doesn't stain, it'll move. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Um, so those are all the colors that come in the Daniel Smith uh, Prima Tech set. The next three are um, the Prussian Green, the Sleeping Beauty, and the Prussian Blue. 
So this is going to be the Prussian blue, this next one that I'm doing. It's one of my favorite colors. We're going to start up here. So this is the Prussian blue. Look how gorgeous that is. That looks completely different from the brush, Prussian blue that was in the Paul Rubens. But this is also a higher quality uh, paint than what was in the Paul Rubin. This next one is the Prussian Green. I think this is going to be gorgeous too. Look how deep that is. That is just stunning. Very, very, very pretty. And this last one is my $20 color. This is the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. Um, I'm probably gonna attempt to get another tube of this. This particular color here comes from mines in Arizona. There's only one mine in Arizona that mines this particular stone. And um, I believe the mine has actually been closed. So once they run out, um, they won't be able to make this anymore. So it's, it's a sought after and very expensive paint. Um, so those are my Daniel Smith uh, watercolors. I'm assuming that this is the hematite here. This must be the hematite and why it's in that position I have no idea. Because that's the Mayan blue, that's the amethyst, that is the Pemonite genuine, and this is the jadeite genuine. So, but that is what I meant by granulation. And, and now that the Paul Rubens are drying, I'm seeing some granulation in them as well. But if you're looking, see how it's kind of like... Um, gathering together that's what they mean by granulation in the watercolor so there is that guys the that is uh, my Daniel Smith um, these are my Paul Rubens and these are my Jane Davenport's my next video is going to be my uh, st. Petersburg white Knights. their tube form and um, I think I'm just going to do teeny little bit, um, teeny little bits here on the top of this tray because I, I don't have those in palettes yet. Um, I do have the, I believe the 36 or 48 uh, full pan sets up in my craft room, but I'm not digging those out. I'll save those for another like um, review video where I compare the tubes to the pans. Um, and, uh, yeah. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below. Again, um, I will eventually include all the links to the YouTube channels I follow. I'll also include the links to where I purchased my watercolors from. Honestly, I can't remember where I got this palette from. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it. And, um, yeah. So with that being said, I hope you all have a great night, and as always, love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.